They're running right there. Right where? There's a U down in the bottom right here. from us, three miles from us, but probably three quarters of a day of hiking. You copy? Yeah, go ahead. If you're looking at us, they're to your right. They're on the, the next series of sand dunes that are, that you gotta hike, you know, hike around over the top to look at. They're above that those that sand that series of sand dunes but to the to the farthest up the canyon part of the sand dune I guess not very good <laughs> <Doesn't look with laughs> that. I'm gonna give you my hand at this direction stuff. You're gonna go north up through the canyon about half a mile. Then you're gonna go straight up a real it's a real it's a mile like it's a steep um chilling shale. Real steep, and then you get up top, and it's a flat kind of bench with the sand dunes on it. The sand dune is up on the bench; it doesn't come down very far. On that bench, you'll see three really pink bald sand dune knobs separated by little draws. It's a beautiful country. They're in the, they're in the middle bald sand dune. Did you get my direction? No, I think you got about three words in, and then let go with your thumb. Come on, it was like a 20 minute description. That's what I told Jabe. I said he's right now just having a philosophical freaking conversation and doesn't know his thumb's not on it. Like the long sand dune that runs almost all the way down to the river? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. He's talking that one. No, you're, I think you guys are. That's more Dominguez. You're, you, I think you're in. It's in the next one over closest to you guys. They're the hanging sand dunes. They're yeah. They're they're they're, they're hanging. They don't go all the way down. We'll 
get over there. We gotta, we're just leaving the truck here in just a second, so uh, we'll get over there and get back on the horn, but yeah. Jacob's on the other side, up on the uh, Echo Cliffs up there. And they've been spotting down, and we've spotted them across here. Jacob can't see because of the fog. And so we gotta, we're gotta we waiting for him. The, the ram we see in is in the 160 class, but we don't know if it's good enough. So we want to get a second opinion. So while we wait, we're just warming our asses with black brush fire. What is this, the Dominguez? Those cables, Jabe's gonna take his pants off, throw them over the wires up there, and he's gonna zip line into the abyss. See if he can find a mermaid at the bottom. Colin needs a soda. <laughs> he's gonna take Colin a Diet Coke, <laughs> some veggie bagels. Well, should we pack up the rock? Yeah, let's roll. Is there a couple of, of the sand dunes that have completely bald orange, you know, no vegetation on them? Yeah, three lumpy ones. Well, if we're looking at the same ones, then the middle one of those three, one of the sand oh, dunes is kind of dude. one of the ram, one of the dunes is kind of long and skinny, and the other two are round. The one in the middle of those, down below them, there's 14 sheep up feeding right now. And he's, I think he should, he, that's a good ram. He's broomed back way back. He's thick at the tips. Is he? Yeah. That's All right, we have, uh, we have the herd in our sights right now. I say we go get on it. There's no need to him haw here. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to pack up and go. That's that's the one I saw for sure. Hundred percent sure now. I think I'd be proud to take that down there. I don't know about that, Cons. I'm gonna try it anyways. I ain't scared. Fording the mighty Perea River. What do you think the odds are? Walk softly. <laughs> Aaron and Colin are down in the canyon somewhere. I can hear some kind of funky goat cry. I don't know if there's sheep or broke back or what's going on down there, but. I'm gonna do some reconfiguring. <laughs> it's freaking hot. Headed up this valley here. Wrap around the backside. Are we gonna go that way or up this road? Kind of cross. I don't want to get boxed in right there. Oh, 
right, well, here's the plan, is that we're gonna go up that wash until we hit that second dune, and we're just gonna belly crawl as far as we can or whatever and try to get over to the edge and s slow and steady. Try to get a shot. Kyron and Colin are in the bottom of this wash. They're about right there. They're peeking over the top of this hill off the end of my finger right out of that wash. There's a bunch of ewes right here. And then that ram is right down in these rocks. There he is. They're running right there. There's a U down in the bottom right here.
mew him. Huh? Can you mew him? Oh, you hit him. You hit him. There he goes down. Hit him again. He's going down. Oh my gosh, Colin! Oh my gosh! He's down. He's down. Oh my gosh, he's a beauty. He's a freaking beauty. You nailed him. Oh my gosh. Woo! I think you got it. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Put more on him. Mother, we knocked him down. Look, that's a proud sheep, dude. Very, very proud sheep. Man. Holy shit, huh? Yeah. Holy shit. Yes, sir. That's a beauty, dude. Proud. It's as good as they get in 12 bro. Yeah. Way to walk them in there. Anyhow, they're down in here a bit. Yeah, made it happen. We would not have got the sheep without you guys. We'd still be up there sitting on our bellies in the sand, freezing our ass, freezing our ass off if you wouldn't have been up there. So. Pretty good call on, on uh, this morning on going up there because that was invaluable. Don't do it, bro. I know times are tough. Where, where at compared to the lobe of the penis head? The penis head, the whole flat table rock looks like a penis. It's, I can't see it from up top. We're down on it. None of that mushroom stuff makes any sense. Oh, 